Welcome to to enable. Uh, I'm picking up where we left off, and uh, we're now going to access my learning light. My learning light can be accessed from any device, uh, and uh, this is where you access actual educational content that we've loaded on the platform. Since we've just registered, we've not enrolled in any courses, so it's obviously important that we enroll in a course of our choice. And we presented a set of courses, and you'll notice at the below, in the lower window, you have the grades associated with the courses that uh, you've selected. So just picking accounting being the first course, I'm going to enroll in grade 10 accounting and it confirms that I've now successfully registered for it and there it brings up accounting as an active course. If I click on accounting it opens up the grade I've selected. I can begin it uh, by clicking on the begin button or I can click on the actual grade 10 itself like I've done there. The way it's uh, delivered is in modules, uh, they're weekly or weekly steps, so you'll notice there are generally 36 steps that are delivered to you and each step represents a week worth of work. So this is the f what you should be doing in the first week of the year, the second week of the year, and this is aligned with the South African curriculum. So I'm going to pick week 6, and if we double click on week 6 it then opens up a content delivery page such as this and it tells your accounts of grade 10 bookkeeping of a sole trader and here is obviously a video uh, which has been delivered to you and you'll notice it's a YouTube video and on the right hand side is a set of links the blue links are all videos that you can you're able to watch so each one of these represents a different video and the red links represent uh, PDF documents so if I look at the introduction, and it's going to load up the introduction for me, and it's the, this has been developed by Sue, and the objectives of this module are well, these three objectives, which are marked here. So by the end of this end of this week, you should actually be able to uh, use information extracted from the source document to record transactions and complete the general journal and show the effect of transactions on the accounting equation. Once you've uh, been through all the resources and you're confident that you actually know uh, the objectives of the module and, and you can then do a, uh, an assessment. So it says if you are, think you're ready for the questionnaire, click here to begin. And uh, I'm going to click there, presuming we've now familiarized ourselves with all the videos and, and the PDF documents. And what it does is it is going to open up a questionnaire for me. And if we give it a second to load, there it comes, you have 10 minutes to complete the assessment and there's negative marking, so incorrect answers will result in marks being deducted. So it's giving me an, uh, a sense of, of not to make guesses, rather leave the, the question you don't understand uh, and just do not make a selection, don't answer it. So if I cl click on, s on Start, it says please answer the following questions with regard to the comprehension text below. So what that means is it's actually in fact this is a common uh, section which and I'm going to have multiple questions that relate back to this this, uh, this header section here. The other thing to note is I've got 10 minutes and there's a countdown clock taking place on the top left hand corner and it's important obviously to complete before that time expires and if that time expires it will close this window. If you finish early, you can finish early. So the four types of questions. This is obviously a free form question. You get a free form question. You get a practical assessment, and you get multiple choice and true, true or false. So in the free form, you can literally type. Uh, uh, I'll put it here. You can type any free form answer. Um, and as uh, I mentioned earlier, this question, the source document is, and the subsidiary is that, and it re relates back to that. You'll notice the next question also relates to the same header, so that's it's, it's basically a linked question. And uh, in this case she's typed three uh, free-form answers, and then that's the end of the, the linked questions, what we call comprehension questions, so it's, it's, this is, is the, the common resource. And then we begin with the multiple choice. Okay, so the multiple choice, you literally select, I'm just guessing, you just select the answer of your choice and a nice big uh, radio button so it makes it simple for you to, if you're using a tablet, you can even use your finger and you go through this process and you complete each of uh, those selections. Um, 
it's important to note that because this is a free form answer, you need to have a teacher who can answer, who can mark this for you. Okay, the the computer does not mark free form answers, and uh, so you need to be at a school where the teacher is using this as a uh, as a resource, or you need to join our cloud school, and uh, we can provide you a teacher uh, to answer this for you. Uh, what ends up happening is once I complete this, all these free form answers get sent off to the teacher with a rubric and then they mark your answer based on the rubric that has been provided. But it's essential that you have a teacher, um, that you are part of an organization that, that is providing mentoring services on the platform. And um, I've still got seven minutes left and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to submit the questionnaire before the time limit expires. So it's going to go off and process that and it says congratulations you've successfully submitted the questionnaire. So I'm just going to close that screen down and um, if I go, uh, I'm going to actually go back to the, the main um, page where I register for courses and I'm going to register for a course where I know there are no free form answers. So I'm going to select mathematics and I'll pick a grade 11 uh, module. I'm now registered for mathematics and I'm going to do the same thing again and just taking a step back what I'm actually showing you here is you can register for multiple courses so you can register for all the courses that you are studying at school um, and you can obviously access each course as you would like sort of on demand and so in this case I'm going to access grade 11 maths and I'll pick analytical geometry uh, for no particular reason and again here we are loading um, the content so we have videos and we have um, textbooks and there's occasionally it, it'll come up with this it's a it's the viewer we're using a google docs viewer and if it does do that just please click on it again and, and try it again so and don't be deterred by that but the same thing applies, uh, I'm taking you to a questionnaire, which is a maths questionnaire, and it's going to open up uh, the, the maths question, and this one gives me 10 minutes to complete the assessment. And again, same, I've got the 10 minute clock countdown here, and you can see I've got literally just multiple choice questions. So I'm, again, not going to choose any particular answer. And I'm just going to go through and, and select this. Obviously, as I said, when the time expires, it will close the window for you. This is a, a multiple choice questionnaire such as this one can be answered entirely by the um, check by, by the application. So what will now happen is I will receive an SMS notifying me of my result for that test. If you want to see which questions you got wrong and if you want to be able to access help, so there's, there's a whole instant messaging application which allows you to ask other people f to help you with the questions you got wrong, you need to access the Silverlight application. So the Silverlight application has a whole lot of additional functionality. So you need to get to a, 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 Silverlight, a Microsoft computer and access the Silverlight application. And, uh, and in that space, you will be able to collaborate with your peers and you can set up learning circles with your friends and you can ask your friends for help or you can in fact ask your teachers and you can also access all the, all the results of the questionnaires that you've completed so my learning light is really just a mechanism to deliver to you video and the, the content and, and the, the assessment but the real guts and strength of the application lies in the full Silverlight application so I hope that is explained to you how to access the educational content through this um, the light version. And next I will be focusing on the full Silverlight app.